We turn now to politics and a kind of storm cloud on the 2012 horizon for President Obama. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows a majority of Americans believe he will be a one-term president. Good Morning America anchor George Stephanopoulos sat down with the president this afternoon to ask him about that in an exclusive interview with Yahoo and ABC and more on an exciting new partnership in a moment. But George kicked it off today with the president and your questions online. It was all live on the web. We have a brand new poll out at ABC. It's just coming out uh, later today mm -hmm. showing the majority of Americans, 55 percent, think you'll be a one term president. Mm -hmm. Are you the underdog now? Absolutely. The, uh, because, you know, given the economy, there's no doubt that, you know, whatever happens on your watch, You've got. Uh, you embrace that pretty quickly. You, you know, I, I don't mind. I, I I'm used to being an underdog, and and I think that uh, at the end of the day, though, what people are going to say is, who's got a vision for the future that can actually help ordinary families recapture that American dream? There's so many people who simply don't think they're better off than they were four years ago. Right. How do you convince them that they are? Well, I don't think they're better off than they were four years ago. Uh, they're not better off than they were before. Lehman's collapsed before the financial crisis, uh, before this extraordinary recession that we're going through. Uh, I think that what we've seen is that we've been able to make steady progress to stabilize the economy, but the unemployment rate is still way too high. Uh, and that's why it's so critical for us to make sure that we are taking every action we can take to put people back to work. And for the first time, President Obama had to answer for Solyndra, the solar panel company which failed despite half a billion dollars in government loans from the Energy Department. President Obama had held it up as a model for green jobs and clean energy. Do you regret that? No, I don't, because if you look at the overall portfolio of loan guarantees that have been provided, uh, overall it's doing well. And what we always understood was that not every single business is going to succeed in clean energy. But if we want to compete with China, which is pouring hundreds of billions of dollars into this space, if we want to compete with other countries that are heavily subsidizing the industries of the future, we've got to make sure that our guys here in the United States of America at least have a shot. Now, there are going to be some failures. And, so and you're getting an example. warnings not to back that company up, not to visit. Well, you know, hindsight is always 2020. Diane, White House emails released by congressional investigators today show there was a fierce debate inside the White House at the time over whether this program really did make sense. 